Hello, Grenova welcomes you from St. Petersburg, Russia. My name is Andrei and I'm lead singer of the band. Hello everybody, I'm Alexander Motor, guitar player of Grenova. And I'm happy to introduce our new album, Blood on the Face, which is out this spring in Europe and this summer in North America through Mausoleum Records. Grenova started as an extreme metal outfit and acted in such capacity for a pretty long period of time. Several albums were released, lots of tours played, festival appearances, and for enormous amount of people we are still a death metal combo or at least something quite hard to the core. Make the principles work. Certain changes took place on the sixth album already. Yeah, that was supposed to be the first move only. I began taking vocal drills in order to use clean singing only. A hard task after 15 years of growling and screaming. I've known Grenover guys, actually I don't even remember for how long, but maybe 10 years or something like this. And um, I think they are very cool guys and it's been, uh, I've enjoyed following how they, how they have been evolving as a band because earlier they did some very different music then the next album was a little bit different and so on. A new stab was made when Grinova were preparing songs for the EP called Computer Crime. Yet after the production at studio Grinova came across serious lineup changes. For me it was a severe loss to see the departure of the rhythm section yet I never hesitated that the band has to go on. Oh yeah, of course, it's, it's so hard to say if all bands are developing, except maybe ACDC, <laughs> but... Uh... <laughs> By summer 2012, Greenover commenced recording of the seventh full-length album that ultimately got the title Blood on the Face. Initially comprised of 10 songs, we worked at different studios with different sound engineers and producers. In the very end, we added another track, all in the suit that you wear, cover version of Stone Temple Pilots. And thus, we were ready to travel to Finbox studio for mastering. We were also lucky to work with such great producers as Dualized and Eddie Kovaza from Italy and Ansi Kipo from Finland. All of them are true professionals and their contribution to the album is significant. That's not a typical Grenover album and actually that was our goal. We experimented a lot with guitar riffs, drums and vocal lines. Last Grenover session they had a new lineup which was very different and uh, I think now in the band the atmosphere is much better than it used to be. Uh, I think the music also has evolved more to the pop oriented way but still it, of course it's metal but I think it's something fresh, something very new and sounds very interesting. I like it very much. Blood on the Face is a huge step forward. It's a step to another level of quality, production and songwriting. I mean that the whole band has expanded the horizons of making music, making it as heavy as before, but more melodic, more accessible to the audience. Mostly because of uh, great vocal melodies by Andre and we can still be recognized by our seven string low tuned riffs which were a huge part of our sound on previous albums. First of all I, I will hear it in the production and in new sound. I don't say that there was something wrong with the earlier sound either but the, but like I told you this is now this is really a modern stuff. This is this is stuff that you should do nowadays if you are want to be a modern metal fan. Blood on the Face uh, turned out a breathtaking album. It's 
the sounds, uh, arrangements, ideas. It's quite diverse, uh, sometimes very heavy, sometimes very acoustic. Uh, something that uh, you know, we have never tried before. This album is made for those who like low-tuned guitars, fast heavy drums and highly emotional vocals. I think that the album is great. I have a permanent airplay in my iPod and the music is really powerful and melodic at the same time. The guys really know what to do. It's a really nice project. A uh, mix of uh, modern and heavy sound with the rock attitude. The, one of my best songs is the title track Blood in the Face with uh, very cool and heavy guitars and a great work on the melodies vocals. It uh, reminds me something from uh, one of my best band like Deftons. They play a really amazing crossover, reminding me sometimes of tools, sometimes of a perfect circle. The change of music also affected the change of the image. Now we're using some makeup stuff, hair tricks, thinking about appearances, something we never dared to care in previous years and definitely didn't imply in the beginning of the career. I mean to look and to be high profile artists. All that can be clearly seen in our new music videos. We are currently having several video clips in process and one of them, the song Brain Fever, has just been brought to public. It's a gorgeous video, fantastic work of a team of professionals, an absolutely new experience for Green Hour. My favorite song is Brain Fever. I really loved it to listen uh, to it on live and on the album is great too. So check it out the video on YouTube on the Granauer's official page. The material was also tested on Tool and the best part of it that old diehard fans took it. Being on Tool is always fun, no matter how exhausting or uncomfortable the road is, because we do it just for living on stage and for appreciation of our creativity. We were together on Eastern Attack Tour in Ukraine and Russia and we spent really great moments of fun and music. I think that guys are really great friends and are very humble people and really skilled musicians. During the recording of Blood on the Face I asked myself several times what I'm going to tell the people listening to the album and now I fully understand that music can tell more than I do. Oh yes! <laughs> super for Grenoble! I think the new songs are super, super cool. It's, it's music of, uh, of the 2000s. I'd like to thank a lot all the people involved into the production of the album, our producers, whose work is hard to overestimate sound engineers, guest musicians, our designer, all contributors and supporters. You are simply the best. Together we have done a perfect job and now it's high time to see it released. Buy the new Granauer's album, Blood on the Face. So check it out, man lads. Bye.